Here are some simple instructions for collecting samples of volcanic ash if it's falling where you live. To do this, you need a few household items. You need a pad or an old book, some plain white paper, a pen, a pair of scissors, some sellotape and an envelope. What we're going to try and do is we're going to use the sellotape sticky side up to catch the ash particles as they're falling from the air. The easiest way to get the sellotape sticky side up is to mount it on the book. Take the end of the sellotape, open the book and stick it onto one of the pages. Close the book again, pull the sellotape over, cut off a length, open the book and stick the sellotape down onto another page. Now, We've got a strip of sellotape stretched across the book, sticky side up. This is our ash collector. Now we're going to collect some ash. Take it outside and put it somewhere on a raised surface where it's not getting caught by wind and dust blowing around on the ground. The roof of a car would be ideal for this. Weigh it down with something so that it doesn't blow away. Leave your sample out until the ash stops falling. Then you can bring it back in. Now you need to prepare your sample for sending it in for analysis. To do this, take a sheet of white paper and stick it down onto the sellotape. Press it down hard. Now we need to write on some important information. We want to know your postcode, your town, the date, the time that your sample collector was out, and if you'd like to hear some of the results, put on your email address as well. Then get the scissors, cut the sellotape, and take your sample collector off. What we've essentially made here it's a very basic slide that contains everything that was falling from the sky. It's now quite straightforward for us to take this and look at it under a microscope so that we can work out if there was ash falling in your area. Send it in to us just by putting in an envelope. And sending it to Greensville Ash Sample, British Geological Survey, Murchison House, West Mains Road, Edinburgh, EH9 3LA. Okay, so this is a very simple method for collecting ash samples and it will allow us to work out quite quickly where about in the country ash is falling. If we want to do some further analysis on the ash, then it's useful to look at it under the electron microscope. Samples that are useful for the electron microscope are a little bit more difficult to collect and need some other items show you how to collect these now. What you need is a piece of cardboard, such as this, a pair of scissors, a pen, some sellotape, some cling film, and an elastic band. Take the piece of cardboard and fold it in half. Then fold it in half again, or fold down the edges so that your piece of cardboard is quartered. Open it up again and take your scissors. Cut along these dotted lines, allowing you to cut out little rectangles from each of the flaps on the ends. In the end, you should end up with an H-shaped piece of card just like this. You can now get some double-sided sticky tape and place that down where the silver mark is here on the card. This is your ash collecting device. Put it outside to collect some ash. Again, an elevated location and weighed down a suitable place. Leave your sample out until the ash stops falling. Then you can bring your sample back in. Now we want to package up your sample so that the surface is preserved. The surface is important in the electron microscope analysis. To do this, fold in the edge of the H 
and then fold this box in half. You can see now that what we've made is a little gap where the surface of the double sided sticky tape is preserved. This will allow us to look at the sample under the electron microscope. To send it in to us, wrap it up in some cling film in order to stop it from being contaminated by any other samples or by any fluff. As you're wrapping it up, add in a label. The label contains the same information as before. That is your postcode, your town, the date, the time the sample was collected, and if you're interested in the results, an email address. Wrap this all up. And fasten it shut with an elastic band. Put this sample into an envelope and send it in to the same address. That's Greensville Ash Sample, British Geological Survey, Murchison House, West Mains Road, Edinburgh, EH9 3LA. Thank you.